Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is about interpreting phase change diagrams. And this looks intimidating, but we're going to break it down so that it's really not very um, intimidating or challenging at all. It's going to give you a lot of information. On, uh, on our y-axis, we have the temperature in degrees Celsius, and on the x-axis, we have heat added. So we want to see what happens to temperature as we ha add heat. So we start out with something that's a solid, and we add heat, and as we add heat, the temperature goes up. But there reaches a point where the temperature no longer goes up even as we are adding heat. And what's happening right here is it's melting. It's still, for instance, zero degrees Celsius if it's water. It's not warming up at all. The energy, the heat that you're putting into it is actually converting the solid into a liquid. So the temperature doesn't go up at all. That's called melting. Once it all becomes a uh, liquid, once it all has melted, this is liquid right here. It's gonna, as you add heat, it's gonna continue to increase in temperature. If this was water, it would increase in temperature till it's 100. And at 100, it starts to vaporize. And as it vaporizes, again, you're gonna add heat to the system, but the temperature does not change. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. When it's all vaporized, now the steam, or the gas, as you add heat, is going to increase in temperature. We can do it in the reverse direction. You have steam, you're cooling it, cooling it, cooling it, the temperature goes down. You're gonna reach a point where even though heat is being removed from the system, the temperature is not changing. That's called condensation. It becomes a liquid. Here it's a liquid. Liquid that's getting cooler, 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 cooler as we remove heat. It hits zero. It stops cooling off. It stays at zero degrees and it freezes into a solid, pulling the heat out. And once it's solid, then the temperature can go down. This explains why it's so much more terrible to get burned by steam than to get burned by water. Water can only reach 100 degrees Celsius. It cannot get any hotter. If water gets hotter than 100 degrees Celsius, it becomes steam. Steam, however, has no upper limit. So you can dump the spaghetti into the colander to, to drain the water and get the water on you, and it won't burn you as bad as getting that steam on you. That steam can be significantly hotter than the water which is why you need to be really careful, but also if you'll notice there's no upper limit here. It can just get hotter and hotter and hotter. So with a phase change diagram, what you see is it is possible to add heat to a system and not change the temperature here and here, or to take heat away from the system and not change the temperature here and here. That's your phase diagram, phase change diagram.